Hello there. I am Ashwarya and welcome to Dreamative channel. On today's video I will explain you about failover routing concept and also I will take you through the complete demonstration on AWS platform. This video will definitely going to help you to set up failover routing infrastructure. Failover routing policy is used to create active passive setup such that one of the site is active and that serves all the traffic whereas the other side that is meant for the disaster recovery side remains on standby here route 53 monitors all the health of the primary side using the health check just hit like to my video and subscribe to my channel let's get started i'm in the aws dashboard i have selected the ubuntu image you can see my current region where i am creating my infrastructure is in the singapore region I will change the name later on to Singapore. So here I will be creating two of the instances. So make a point there. Here I will select the key pair and I can do SSH from anywhere with the security group I have selected. Here the storage is around 20 GB. So this would be the root volume. So here now I will simply click on launch instance. So now I will SSH to the machine. I have already converted the PAM file to PPK file. I will select the key and now I'll try to log in Ubuntu. So you can see that I have logged in. Now I will be the root user, apt get install Apache 2. So this will install Apache to my first instance. While this install, I will log into another instance. I'll use the same key and here. So basically, I'm going to be the root user. apt get install Apache 2. So here in both of this instance, you can see that I'm installing Apache 2. So why am I doing that? You'll understand it later on. So here system CTL enable Apache 2 and you can see that the Apache is active. For the demonstration, I had to make the Apache website little bit identical and to know which particular instance the traffic is going on with load balancer. For that, I will go to this path vi space var slash www slash html slash index dot html. So basically this will help me identify the server and the routing and I can identify which server I'm into. Here I will change from it works to Singapore works server 1. So when I hit to this Apache website installed on the first VM, it will show me as Singapore server works instead of it works service Apache 2 restart. All done. I will do the same thing to my second instance where Apache 2 is installed. I will go to the same path and I will search for it works. From here, I will change it works to Singapore works server 2. And now I will again restart Apache 2 server. I will copy the IP. Before I paste the IP on another tab, I have to edit my security group. I will enable all traffic as it is for the demo purpose. And now when I copy the IP and paste it, Apache server is up. And I will copy the another IP address of another machine. Here you can see that we have two Apache default page, Singapore works, server one, Singapore works server 2. Basically, since it's on Singapore, I'll just change the name of an instance. I will create a load balancer. Here, I'm setting up load balancer to route the traffic between two of this machine. I will name it as Dremator Singapore. Basically, it will represent the Singapore load balancer. I will select the default security group and then I have to select the availability zone and here I do not have any listener so let's create one. I will create the listener basically it's a target group 
I will create as target group Singapore. Next, and there are two machines that is available on Singapore region. So now I will include this machine on port 80 as Apache is running on port 80. I will click on create target group. And here I will select the target group. Click on create load balancer. So now let me check my load balancer. This is going to take a while until the state changes from provisioning to active. So now it says healthy. If I copy the DNS of the load balancer and paste it, the website is not available. So what I had to do is I had to change the security group from default. The machine is available on port 80, but the security group that I selected for the load balancer is restricting me. So I will select another security group, which will basically allow me to fetch Apache from the instance. So using load balancer DNS, I can hit the traffic to two different instances. Each time I load the page, I'm going to two different Apache default page. If you did not understand this particular infrastructure, then I have similar video where I have shown how to set up load balancer. So you can use that particular video to, to have this current infrastructure. So now I will change my region from Singapore to Sydney. I will create the exact same region on Sydney the same way I have created on Singapore. So I will call this as disaster recovery site. I will select the keeper and now I will change the storage. So basically I had to do the same thing that I have done on Singapore region. So now I will just rename one of an instance. I will do SSH to another instance. I will go to the index.html file. I will do the similar modification, but here instead of it works, I will give as Sydney works server 2. So this is a server 2 and system ctl restart apache 2 now you can see that sydney work server 2 is available now you can see the default page of the server 2 machine on server 1 i will go to index.html file and i have done the same thing on server 1 as well so i can see both of the server that is sydney work server 1 sydney work server 2 so instance is all set and the next is correct load balancer I will create another load balancer that is application load balancer on Sydney as well. Remative Sydney load balancer. I'll create the target group as Remative target group Sydney. On port 80, I will make the instance available on the load balancer. So once it is set up, the state has to change from provision to active. I will go to the DNS and you can see on hard refresh, my traffic is routing between Sydney Work Server 1 to Sydney Work Server 2. Now this is Singapore Work Server 1 and Server 2. So basically this DNS address is for Singapore Apache default page and this link is for Sydney Apache default page. So our current infrastructure is set. So next is Route 53. Here Route 53 you had to create a hosted zone. I will create exactly as my website name is. So now this would be the public hosted zone. As I have created the hosted zone, you can see that there are two records. One is NS type and start of authority type. There are four NS values. So I have to add this four NS values to my website. It has hosted on GoDaddy. So I will copy and add them to my website. I will click on save. Continue. Yes, I consent to update name server for the selected domain and it's all done. So you can see that the name server is updated. If you go to the DNS record, you will not find any of your DNS record that was there before you update the NS server. We can't display your DNS information because your name server aren't managed by us. That means the AWS is managing the DNS. I will go to the hosted zones. 
and you can see there are two records as I said earlier. Now I have to create the health check. So be very good enough while creating health check here. So there has to be two health check. One is for the Singapore load balancer and another one is for Sydney load balancer. So health check Singapore. I will select domain name. I will name it as failover.deathranger.n on port 80. I don't have to specify the path here and create health check. So that is as simple as that. Now I will create another health check for Sydney region. Health check Sydney. Again, select your endpoint for domain name failover.deathranger.n port 80 and create the Sydney health check as well. For health check to come healthy, it will take a minute of time. So one is up, that is Singapore. And after the refresh, you can see that Singapore and Sydney health check is all up. Now I will go again to my hosted zone. And earlier there was two type of records were there on my hosted zone. I will create two more. So the record name would be failover and the record type would be A. Here I will select the route traffic to to alias alias to application and classic load balancer. Currently we have an application load balancer. And then I will select the region where the load balancer is. The first one is Singapore. The name of the load balancer is Dremator SGLB. It's not so confusing, but here make sure in routing policy, there are different types of routing policy and you will be selecting the failover routing policy. Now the failover record type would be primary. So the first available region while going through this DNS name is Singapore region infrastructure. So user will get their reply back from Singapore region infrastructure where we have created. I had to give the health check ID, just give some name. I have added one of the record and that is basically the primary one. So now I have to create another record exactly as the previous record. I will select the load balancer and then the load balancer that is available in Sydney region. And this would be the failover routing policy. Failover record type would be secondary. Health check ID. So basically I had two health check and for this particular record, I will select the second health check ID that is Sydney. I will give something for record ID, create records on hosted zone. You can see four records. So here on another tab, when I look for failover.deathranger.n, give hard refresh. You can see that Singapore works one and Singapore works two. That is your primary infrastructure where user will be getting their reply to their traffic that they are sending for failover.deathranger.n. Even after hard refresh, you can see that I'm just getting my reply from the hosted zone as Singapore region itself. Now I have to make sure Singapore is not healthy and this would basically when certain disasters or maybe your current infrastructure is not available on Singapore region. So in that case, the Sydney will reply back or answer back to your traffic instead of Singapore region infrastructure. So now when I made the two of the instance unavoidable from Singapore region, On a hard refresh for failover.deathranger.n, I am getting 503 service temporarily unavailable. You have to know this point here. Whenever you create failover routing policy, there would be certain delay time for another region to take up the priority to reply for your traffic. Whereas if you create the fault tolerant infrastructure, even though that particular region infrastructure is failing, it will still have a capacity to come up. So basically what I'm trying to tell you here is that the higher availability will be more when we talk about fault tolerance rather than the failover. And stopping Singapore instance made both of the region unhealthy. And for more information, you can go to health checkers. And now after waiting for some time, if I refresh on failover.deathranger.n, my traffic is basically routing to Sydney region Apache default page. This is something I was talking about active passive routing. 
and the higher availability is bit lower when compared to fault tolerance. So when I start the machine of Singapore, Health Check will keep monitoring on your infrastructure available on Singapore. And once the status comes up for Singapore region through Health Check, it will again give you the traffic from Singapore itself because now the infrastructure on Singapore region is all available and healthy to serve the traffic. I'm able to get my reply back for my traffic from Singapore. So that's it for today's YouTube video. I know you have understood a lot from this particular demonstration. And if you're more interested to understand about fault tolerance, then do let me know on comment section. Until my next video, sayonara. Have a beautiful day. I believe this video was helpful. If yes, please like this video as well as share and subscribe for more.